It's umsum time. What if restaurants huh? disappeared? No problem. Then I will cook food for everybody. Wow, umsum. <laughs> Firstly, if restaurants disappeared, everybody will start <gasps> eating more at home as compared to outside. Mm. Secondly, eating at home is much cheaper as compared to eating outside. If restaurants disappeared, people have more disposable <laughs> income to spend on other things. Thirdly, fast food is not good for health. If restaurants disappeared, people might actually get healthy. Fourthly, millions of jobs and billions of dollars are connected to the restaurant industry. If restaurants disappeared, the economy will definitely suffer. Fifthly, if restaurants disappear, huh? people who travel a lot either by road or by planes will really miss having a nice huh? lunch or dinner at a fine restaurant. Mm. Lastly, especially in cities, restaurants occupy a lot of prime real estate. If restaurants disappeared, a lot of new businesses huh? might be interested in these places. Yeehaw! What if we only oh. eat fruits? No problemo. You eat all the fruits, I will eat all the burgers. Oh, um some. Huh? <laughs> fruits are a major source of potassium, dietary fiber, vitamin C, and folate. Potassium helps in maintaining healthy blood pressure, ah. thus reducing chances of a stroke. Dietary fiber helps in relieving constipation and reducing blood <laughs> cholesterol levels, thus lowering the risk of heart diseases. Vitamin C is responsible for the growth and repair of body tissues. Folate is vital in the formation of red blood cells. Now, on the flip side, as fruits contain high sugar content, they may prove to be harmful to diabetic patients. Also, eating a lot of them may lead to weight gain and tooth decay. Lastly, Relying only on fruits may lead to nutritional deficiencies, which may further lead to immune system dysfunction. Hmm. Oh. Are processed huh? foods safe to eat? Yeah, cause they are so yummy. No. Processed food means the food item has been altered in some way or the other. It may involve washing, peeling, cutting the food item or pasteurizing, freezing, adding oil, salt, or sugar to increase the product's shelf life. Mm. Processed foods include tinned vegetables, yogurt, cheese, etc. Ultra-processed foods are ready to eat or ready to heat products <laughs> manufactured industrially using multiple ingredients and additives. Some examples include instant <laughs> noodles, breakfast cereals, etc. Mm. Now, many of these ultra-processed foods are believed to have negative health effects. Why? Firstly, Ultra-processed <laughs> foods are unhealthy for our digestive oh. system as they are low in fiber. Hmm. <laughs> fiber promotes bowel movements and it is an important food source for beneficial bacteria in our large intestine. Hmm. Secondly, many of these foods are high in trans fat, which increases the level of bad cholesterol. Oh. Thirdly, high amounts of salt, sugar, and chemical additives <laughs> in these foods may increase the risk of diabetes, obesity, etc. Hmm. Is it safe oh. to eat leftovers? Yeah, I eat my burgers even if they are a week old. <laughs> Ew. According to experts, the leftovers are safe to eat if we follow the 224 rule. Here, the first two indicates that we should refrigerate leftover food within two hours of cooking. This is because at room temperature, that is at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, there is fast growth of bacteria. Hence, refrigerating leftover food, that is dropping its temperature below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, slows down the bacterial growth. Oh. The second two implies that we should store leftovers in a layer no more than two inches deep. This allows quick and even cooling, thus minimizing the bacterial growth. Oh. Finally, the four in the rule indicates that we should eat the refrigerated ah. leftovers within four days. This is because refrigeration just slows down the bacterial growth. It doesn't completely halt their growth. Hence, after four days, the bacteria reach a threshold concentration where they make the food bad enough to cause indigestion, food poisoning, etc. Hmm. Are oh. frozen foods safe to eat? Yeah, 
That's why I eat ice creams. Oh, <laughs> dude. In food industry, there are two processes used for freezing, mechanical, and cryogenic. In mechanical freezing, chilled air is passed <laughs> over food items, causing them to slowly oh. cool down and freeze. Hmm. While in cryogenic or flash freezing, food items are either directly sprayed or immersed in refrigerants ah. like liquid nitrogen or carbon dioxide, thus freezing oh. the food instantly. Hmm. Frozen foods do have certain advantages. Firstly, nutritional loss is almost negligible. Hmm. Secondly, while transporting <laughs> and storing fresh food items, harmful bacteria can grow and contaminate the food. However, this will not happen in case of frozen foods because bacteria don't usually grow in low, freezing temperatures. However, some frozen foods may contain stabilizers and trans fat. It is believed that these additives will either increase the risk or worsen certain pre-existing health conditions. Hmm. What if we only eat oh. spicy food? Nothing will happen. I eat lollipops every day. Oh, I'm so. Eating a moderate amount of spicy food does have some advantages. Firstly, spices definitely increase the flavor of the food we eat. Ah. Secondly, some experts believe that capsaicin found in spicy foods helps in weight management by curbing our appetite and speeding up our metabolism. Mm. A study also found people to be more satiated after eating spicy food. Thirdly, capsaicin has anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial effects which are good for our body. Disadvantages of eating too much spicy food are, firstly, they can decrease the sensitivity oh. of our taste buds. Secondly, they can cause acid reflux, that is, acids and spices mix with stomach acid and irritate our food pipe lining. Thirdly, they can cause irritation of our gut, leading to diarrhea. Lastly, they can further worsen heartburn, stomach ulcers, and condition of people suffering from irritable bowel syndrome. Is expired food safe to eat? No problemo. I'm as strong as Hulk. <laughs> oh, um some. Usually we see three types of dates on food products. Sell by, best buy, and use by. Use by is what we call the expiry date. Consuming ah. food past this date may prove to be harmful. Firstly, the nutritional value of the food will reduce. Secondly, as bacteria don't usually grow at low temperatures, many foods are frozen. But if foods are kept at room temperature, bacteria will develop in them. Now, if consumed, they can cause vomiting, diarrhea, food poisoning, etc. Thirdly, it is believed that when canned food expires, the acids present in food react with the metal can and produce hydrogen gas, creating bulges in the can and thus making the food unsafe to eat. So, expiry date is definitely a good indicator. But apart from ah. that, we should also rely on our senses of smell and sight to check uh -huh. the quality of the food. Hmm. Is it safe to uh -huh. eat moldy bread? With cheese? Definitely yes! Oh, um some. <laughs> the mold on our bread is a fungus. The green visible parts on the bread are just spores of the fungus. Its invisible branches, huh? called hyphae, actually spread deep into the bread creating an extensive network. Ah. Now, as fungi don't have chlorophyll, they cannot prepare their own food. Hence, they rely on other sources. Ah. Bread is one of their best options because it contains nutrients as well as moisture. Hmm. Now, it is neither ah. recommended to eat moldy huh? bread, nor it is safe to scrape off the mold and eat the rest. Huh? Why? Because some molds can produce mycotoxins that can be harmful for humans. Hmm. Also, as bread is a soft food, the hyphae can easily penetrate deeper, making scraping or cutting worthless. Hmm. <laughs> what if we stopped eating sugar? Then I would start licking honey. Oh, uh, listen, um, some. Sugar stimulates the release of feel-good chemicals like dopamine. Ah. So, sudden cutting down of sugar can cause sugar uh -huh. withdrawal, thus leading to anxiety, mood swings, etc. However, the most obvious benefits of avoiding sugar would be oh. weight loss, improved oral health, and reduced risk of diabetes. 
Secondly, sugar also triggers the process of glycation, in which harmful compounds called AGEs are released. These AGEs attach to collagen and elastin in our skin, causing wrinkles. So, avoiding huh? sugar may reduce wrinkling. Hmm. Thirdly, studies have shown that excess sugar causes inflammation, which gives rise to acne. So, giving up on sugary foods may prevent acne. Hmm. Fourthly, avoiding sugar can also reduce the risk of Alzheimer's. How? A chemical called BDNF forms new connections and new memories. According to research, excess sugar is linked to drop in the BDNF level thus causing Alzheimer's. Hmm. 